Hi, and welcome to the March 22nd Chaos <laughs> DEI meeting. It's good to have you here. Minutes are in the chat. You can add what you ate or drank last. So brand cereal with almond milk. Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty good. That's yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Does whatever is coming out of the microwave count? Yes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That works for me. I won't be able to stick around too long. We have a global Q&A for work today. Okay. Somebody, there was a death in a parking garage that was not someone in the company, but it was next to our building, and they're supposed to be telling us what exactly happened. So, okay. Wow, that's heavy. Yeah. There was a lot going on in the domain here in Austin this last week. Was South by Southwest just finishing up? Yes, and that's why I want to find out if it was related to it. I see. All right. I like coffee too, Kevin. Black, sugar, cream. No sugar, uh, skim milk or uh, or almond milk or oat milk if, uh, if I'm at a place that uh, doesn't do milk. Okay. Sounds good. And yogurt and granola is pretty much what I have every day. Yeah, I, I know. Bre breakfast is a kind of a weird meal. It's like so super consistent, and I couldn't fathom doing that for dinner every day, so oddly yeah. enough, which is <laughs> really weird to me, but whatever. Um, all right, so we have a few things on the agenda today. Um, I think most of it is going to be spent on taking a look at this DEI.md file. Hi, Mary Blessing. Could somebody put the minutes in the chat for Mary Blessing? Yep, I'll do that right now. Um, and so I just, I in there was a note in Slack that there is a workshop tomorrow that might be of interest to folks on this call. Hi, Ruth. Um, I think she said the 23rd. I guess it is tomorrow. Yeah. But, well, you know. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> wow, March is flying. Yeah. So the links here, the links also in, in random in um, in Slack. So if you could take a look, if you have an interest in participating, I think information is here. So this is just more of an FYI for folks. Um, badging bot updates. So Sean, do you want to tell us kind of what, what you know that's going on? <clears throat> for project badging or for the... for the Just the badging bot. The, so Enoch and I um, talked earlier this morning and messaged on Slack yesterday. I've set up, he needs a, a solid subdomain for GitHub, to follow GitHub's rules with an SSL certificate. And I kind of walked him through conceptually that process on my hosting provider, which currently is di different for DigitalOcean, but this is all stuff that I think he'll be able to figure out. But if he isn't, um, he can give me credentials and I can go into DigitalOcean and figure it out. I've already got badging.chaos.io pointing to that IP address. So as soon as he sets it up, he'll he should be able to go. Um, or I set it up if that works out that way. The only other step I think is then to put in a ticket with the Linux Foundation to get badging.chaos.community pointed to that same IP address. And I um I don't know the exact link to use or exactly who to email. I could dig through my email, but we used to just um, email Brian Warren. But, if okay. you can, if you can yep. tell me precisely what the request is. Yep. Um, it, would, it would honestly, it's just putting in a ticket. So is that on their website or? Yeah. So just, it's a, okay. just open up a Jira ticket. They have okay. a, I'll, let me find it here really I'll, quick. I'll find it. I'll find it. And if I can't find it, I'll ping you. Okay. If you can't find it, just let me know. But, um, and then they're they're usually pretty helpful in terms of responding in just a few days. So like I've had to work with them mm -hmm. when we were shutting down, like archiving some of the mail lists, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and so they were super helpful in that regard as well. Yeah, I think we got I think we got lightly scolded the last time we were trying to get a hold of them for not putting in a ticket. When we didn't put in a ticket? Yeah, not right away. Okay. Uh, On it. So it was pretty so easy, I, actually. Yeah, so I think the ticket is where we want to start for sure. <laughs> so let me, Sean, let me ask you a question. With if you set up badging.chaos.io, does that solve potentially solve the problem in the short term? Well, the, yeah, that ex exactly, okay. exactly. That solves the problem in the short term, and I think for only to remain consistent on a single 
top level domain do we want? Is this ticket important? Okay. Um, okay. Could I, um, I, I will just ask you, Sean, that you can, and I know you are, but just continue to connect with Enoch to get this solved because it is a pretty high priority item right now, just because we have yep. so many reviews coming in. Yep. Um, it's just that time of the year. And I know, thank you, Ruth, for reaching out to the folks who have applied during um, during the, the badging bot being kind of fixed, yeah. or this is issue being fixed. So I think everybody's okay and informed about the issue. So I think we're good there. Mm -hmm. And, and if it, it's going to take longer. We can go the other option of manually just okay. um, Leading, like I'm, I'm going to trip like double check on the dates of the different events because okay. sometimes kind of like we don't want them to wait and then the event has passed. So I'll just check the dates and see if their dates are like very close, um, or still very far. Okay. Hey, Sean. Yeah. The the point person, the contact person is Craig Ross. Yeah, I'm just going to submit Linux Foundation. It. Okay, I'll submit a ticket, and that should probably do it. Okay, if you need to, if you need to search your emails, it's Craig Ross. All right, thank you. Okay. Okay, great. I think I have all the notes there. Um, and Sean setting up it. All right. Okay. Take it as submitted. Done. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Sean. No okay. Problem. Thanks, everybody, for the update there. Um, let's see. I did want to talk a little bit about the DEI.MD <laughs> stuff that we taught, brought up last year, last year, last week. <laughs> Uh, so I had a few thoughts on this. Um, I think last week we had kind of talked about having, do you remember this, a DEI dot, like bronze dot MD, DEI dot silver. Do you remember yes, that? Yes, I remember Actually, that discussion. I've been, I put in here, I've been thinking that maybe we shouldn't do that. that okay. I, well, I, I'm just trying to think about the logistics. I'm, you know. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I know. It made a little bit more sense. And that we would just have a single DEI.MD file. Let me show you how that we would, uh, I propose to solve it. We can go back to having dot bronze, dot silver if you'd like, but. I, I think it'll be easier to implement without that. So I'm okay. not gonna fight you. All right. <laughs> so we would have a single DEI.MD file that <clears throat> a bronze level applicant would, would provide. And then they will, at, at some point, if things go well, receive the badge. And I think they would just include the badge here in this DEI.MD file. You know what I mean? So the, within the file itself, it's indicating the badge level, not the name of the file. So it's just a DEI.MD, kind of like how we just have a code of conduct file. And it can vary between different projects. But I think having four different names for the DEI file is, I just think the messaging is a little bit weird sometimes. So we just have a DEI.MD file and people can explore that file. I don't know what people's um, thoughts are. I just think it's I, simpler. Well, I mean, as a person working with Enoch and Ruth to implement the project badging, I am much, that's much easier to implement. And I think is much clearer to projects that would be trying to create a project badge or earn a project badge. So. Yeah, I'm 100% thinking that's the right move. Okay. Other thoughts as well on that? Kevin, I see you nodding, I think, so. Yeah, when I think the it had come up in the, maybe the community meeting last week, um, at the time there were the four separate documents. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and it, it, it did seem a little uh, <clears throat> uh, complex. Yeah, so I think so. I think we can still have great signals, and like once the badge is awarded, the bronze badge can just go in this document. You know what I mean? And once the silver badge is awarded, it can just go in this document, and so on and so forth. So mm -hmm. it's a little bit easier. Yeah. Um, 
I also, Kevin, and we'll talk about the new metrics here in a second, but I, to your point, I went ahead and I updated what I think are the four metrics that we had talked about. Um, and then I went ahead and made changes to like silver, gold, and platinum. What I did was I added one metric here for the time being, which would be project burnout, plus a response location for the response to the report that they receive. You know how they receive a, a report in between um, bronze and silver? So how they address that report. Moving on, the gold is adding the recognition of contributors. So I think part of that, that was part of the original bronze badge, but the suggestion was to perhaps move it down a little bit and still retaining the response to the first report as well as now the response to the second report. So this DEI.md file continues to grow a little bit. And then the last one was I added project demographics. So how the project, um, kind of like what we do with event demographics, how you understand the demographics within your project, you know, what are your efforts in that regard and what are you trying to do to, to improve? Um, and then as well as the response to report three. So for a while, just as in, I'll, comments are totally welcome. I was adding two. So I went from four to six and then six to eight and eight to 10. It got really big, but it, it just got like kind of immense. <laughs> and so that's why I just kind of went to the adding one every time, <laughs> you know, again, mm -hmm. it's, it's still showing improvement. It's a, it's a progression towards, towards something. And I don't know what people's thoughts are not on the metrics quite yet, but just kind of on this overall, like just adding one, just this design. Yeah, Kevin, of course. From a, from a metrics model standpoint, uh, I like four as a base, as a base. I think most of the best models are all gonna be four. Yep. Uh, and then as we add more complexity to them, uh, I'd almost wanna max out at eight metrics. I think more than eight would be Quite too much, seven. too complex. So, yeah. so if we're, yeah, if we're landing in seven at the end, uh, I mean, so there is some benefit in becoming more complex here because you are starting to uh, access some some kind of more more complex ideas around DEI as we as we move down. So I think seven, eight max would make sense. I wouldn't want to okay. go any higher than that, though. Okay, in Great. my mind. Super. Any other, Sean or Katie? No, or Mary I, th I, th I think that's a good heuristic. Okay. Um, I, to your point too, Kevin, I mean, you, you look at a lot of these and these are like, uh, if these are the metrics that we choose for this, or this is where we finalize, like these are, these are going to take a lot of reflection <laughs> by a community. So they're not just like, here's the number, <laughs> you know, it's not like report how many people you have in Slack. It's, it's how do you address burnout within your project? That's a, that's a pretty complex question. So I think even just adding one uh, adds a lot of, of reflection and thought for a particular project. Okay, um, great. Okay, so then could we talk a little bit about the metrics themselves? So I had, I'll just go to gold for the time being. These two metrics, five and six, were metrics that we originally had in the four. The suggestion was to move them down a bit. So I don't think there was a concern about the metrics. It was about uh, when the metrics were showing up. Okay, thanks. If you could fix that in everywhere, that'd be good. Uh, yep, I'm doing that. Okay. So does anybody have an issue with adding these two metrics with the next two levels? These are metrics that we do have developed. Burnout and contributors, recognizing contributors. Are people okay with that? I am. Me too. Okay. Me too. Okay, great. And then the, I guess the, the one that I did add was that we didn't talk about was project demographics. And I can show you kind of just from a, I just went right to the spreadsheet. I was taking a look at what we have. 
probably not around events because I think all of these are, you know, associated with event batching. So, I mean, the other, I'll make one comment too, but the other options were like board council diversity. There were, there were other options here as well of metrics that we have specified. So again, I had just picked project demographics because it seemed like something that a project could think about and and, and comment on. Yeah, Kevin. I, I think the the way you've kind of selected it, it kind of it kind of tells a story, right? Because you you start with those four metrics or just that are kind of the basic kind of opening the door to the opening the door to the project, you know, are are you welcome? And then as you as you go down to those next level badges, you start to uh, you start to reflect on how welcome new contributors are. Are you able to retain your existing contributors? And then that last thing you reflect on is kind of the, the overall demographics of your of your project. So I think okay. I think it tells a story all the way through. So I, I like the flow. Okay, uh, great. And I I think uh, it makes sense. Okay, great. <clears throat> um, other comments? Again, Katie, Ruth, Mary Blessing, Sean. Mm -mm. Good. Okay. Um, and then the other thing is too, I did, I, I kind of realized throughout this process. So we obviously have a, a code of conduct for a project metric. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's not actually something that we ask for. However, it is something that is implied in the entire, so it is actually kind of something we do ask for yeah even though it's not part of the list because we say if this is about people reporting inconsistencies and in how a project is speaking to those metrics um mm. so you can check out the code of conduct and raise issues with the code of conduct team so this it's not as explicit here but it is certainly implied that you you as a project need to have a, one a code of conduct and two a, a way to report or to communicate with the code of conduct team yeah. Does it need to be a, a code of conduct.md file? Like this? It would be a link to the code of conduct like of that project. Okay. So we're not actually going to scan for a code of conduct.md file the same way that we would. No, I don't think okay. so. But it's just implicit in this process that you have a way to, to, to speak to this document if you would mm -hmm. like to as a community member. <clears throat> So while we don't ask for it, it kind of has to be there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean yeah. Sean, Sean, one of the things you could do actually is ensure that this link does go out. This is a functional link. And code of conduct it. link? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a good point. I'll add that to the requirements. That's easy enough to do. We have somebody putting up a DEI.md file and that code of conduct link is dead. You know, it it's, go anywhere. it's embarrassing. And we might want to say, you might want to fix that link just because and so then kevin it, to your point it kind of becomes explicit in here if we are actually looking for it as part of the commentary okay good any other comments i think this is coming together really well through conversations that we're having here in, in badging and dei and the community so I, I really like where this is i like how this is turning out okay so let's um let's continue this process then about the metrics that need to be developed and where we're at with that because i think that's if, if we're kind of comfortable with this structure the next step is developing the you know the pieces that help help draw this forward um so newcomer experience kevin i'm, I'm glad you're on i think this metric is ready to be um, pushed to the website i don't think it's there right now Again, this is not for you. I just, I, because, you know, we've had a few delays, but uh -huh. is it there? I thought, oh, maybe it's not. I uh, have it marked as ready. That's all. Okay. When, when was this one pushed out? November. Okay. Could you just take a look? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take a look at that and okay. push it to the website if it needs to. Okay. Thank you. 
And then um, the I'm going to skip those top two. So um, project burnout is done. So we do have that as a metric. Um, okay, let me skip that one. Um, project demographics <clears throat> is done. I just haven't included it here yet because I was in a bit of a rush to get that done. Is is project demographics? Do we actually have a project demographics metric? I thought we were pointing to. Uh, I thought we were pointing to another project for that. We do. Interesting. Can you look on the website real fast? Oh, uh, what's the what, what was the the demographics uh, site we uh, we usually reference? Oh, the Nikki Stevens. Yeah. Yep. I thought we just pointed there. I didn't think we actually think, had a. I think we have one, but probably worth sorting out. <laughs> I'm looking on the website now. You are on the website? Yep. Okay. Uh, we have event demographics. Yep. Uh, I don't see project demographics on the website. We have, if you take a look here, we have, this is just off of the, you know, I just went and got this off of the. Okay. So we certainly make a reference right out of the gate to Nikki Stevens work. Okay. I would say that that description is more of an objective. And it is also, I mean, we can work on it, but we do have it and it is also here. In GitHub. I don't see it on the website. Okay. When was this one pushed? Does it say? Um, July of last year. Of twenty twenty two. Yeah. Okay, that's what it. It got pushed during the uh, during the metrics freeze. Oh, okay. So. What about like psychological safety and chat? These might all. Uh, my guess is oh, that that one's are... not there either. No, these look good. It looks like they have an ID. See that? Oh yeah, th that is an ID. Yep. Yep. So those are good. So it just looks like project demographics. Okay, I'm mark. I'm marking that one down. Okay. Uh, I might if we're if we're using project demographics in this badge. Yes. I'm. I would recommend kind of auditing it. Uh, to make sure it's saying what we needed to say, because okay. uh, I did notice the in the the description it was <clears throat> the description had a objective in it. Uh, it didn't okay. actually have a statement that said what the metric was measuring. Okay, no problem. Do you want to wait? Do you want to update that first before we go through the process of? Getting it to the website, not right now, but like an action item to take a look at that. I mean, if it's already been if it's already been pushed, then we, we might as well just make it live on the website. Okay. But I would uh, no I would have an action item to maybe uh, edit that document in the next chaos uh, DEI meeting, or or if if DEI doesn't want to edit it, maybe have common look at it. Okay. Well, I think it seems okay to do it here. Maybe in, you could by next week. Just have a suggestion on that. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can take, I'll take a look at that. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Kevin. Mm -hmm. All right. So then, okay, one. Question then. I can get my tabs correct. So we have contributors. You know what I mean? This one.
maybe. Yes. So this is not actually recognizing contributors. This is just contributors. I think recognize isn't recognizing contributors a metric that was uh, uh, that's being worked on. You would think, but is it in here? Uh, Appreciating contributors. Yes, that's what it is. There it is. Okay. There we go. Okay. So let me let me modify this then, just while I'm thinking about it. You know what I mean? And I think there is a note to change it to recognizing, uh, which I which I do agree with. But yeah, right Wait, now it's do we want recognizing or appreciating? Well, I think it's I think I think recognizing is a better name for it. Oh, and okay. there is a note to change it to recognizing, but right now it's called appreciating. So maybe <coughs> Okay. Okay, so this needs to be probably like updated in the spreadsheet. This needs this kind of needs the whole the whole thing. So I'll do that. Okay. Um, okay, so do we want to work on that one next week as well? Or yeah, I'll I'll bring it in what I would consider to be, you know, like kind of like you with project demographics, maybe a final form, and we could spend like 10 minutes. Okay, so then I, I would suggest, let's see, you can, okay, let me, let me get that right. Okay, so then we have two remaining metrics. And that is, it's access. And what was the other one? Communication. Communication transparency. transparency. Okay. Um, I'll suggest that we just wait on these two. <clears throat> okay, just before we assign more action, unless somebody wants to start working on them. But like next week, we would have a couple things to take a look at. Uh, in the in the common working group, those two metrics were assigned to me as an action item to okay. get started. Oops. Okay, so we can kind of be that cadence isn't until next week. It's not like in two days. So um, it would maybe just in terms of because these are all going into this, my hope would be is that we can just start finalizing a few of these to get, to get them out. So not to give you a million action items on developing things, Kevin, but maybe in common we can just start you know roughing these out in the meeting in in set nine days or something like that as a group okay all right great um any other comments on the batching stuff this is coming along real well all right um, I only had one last thing for today, tour guides, and I know Mary Blessing was on, so maybe I should have started with that. Yeah, I think it would be the whole thing. Mary Blessing had shared a document um, sometime with me on this last week, but she's still like trying to um, put it up together. So I think by next week, we'll be able to share um, that document with okay. the group. Is it about kind of like describing what it is and how it would work? Yeah, like a document kind of like describing how the process will be, how the tour guides will, um, how the participants or the, how do they call, what will be, <laughs> we have tour guides, what will be the 
I, okay. I don't see <laughs> what they call someone that's being guided, but how the participants will, um, you know, sign up for the program or sign up to get it all <clears throat> kind of details. Okay, great. Um, I'll make sure for the next meeting and I can reach out to Mary Blessing too. I'll start with that and maybe she can give an update. Okay. Great. Okay. That's helpful. Thank you, Ruth. Um, are there any other topics that people want to talk about with respect to the DEI right now? Not me. All righty. I'll consider that a good to go. Good, good to go. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. To the point. Bye. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Talk to you all later. Okay. Bye. Bye.